Jim, what did you think of The Invisible Man? Um, I loved it. It's such a great classic movie. Uh, it's definitely one of those movies that you have to see, and it, it's one of those movies that I love rewatching. Um, I think I've only seen it about two, maybe three times. This might be the third time. Um, okay. But it's just fantastic. I mean, I just everything about it is great. All the effects are great, especially for 33. Mm-hmm. Uh, the acting by Claude Rains is amazing. We've already touched on that. Yeah, it's just an all-around enjoyable movie. I, you know, I... Even that last scene where all the police officers are surrounding the barn, barn. sequence. Oh yeah. yeah, it's just great. It's so tense and it's just amazing when you see his footprints come out in the snow mm-hmm. and he gets shot and you see that indent in the snow. You're like, wow! Not only are you amazed by like how cool that effect is, but you're amazed that they got him almost because the whole movie he's escaped capture. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I don't know, just a great movie. Yeah, it really is great. It is very entertaining and like. Again, like Frankenstein, like the other Universal Monster movies, with the exception of Son of Frankenstein, it's a really brief movie. It's about an hour and 12 minutes or something. So it's we're not wasting a lot of time here. <laughs> you know, it's it's efficient storytelling. Yeah, it's a it's a fun movie. I like it a lot. The cops are a little bit too goofy here and there. I think there's one cop that I, I'm just like, I, I don't like this guy. Everyone else was kind of funny. <laughs> Um, and then I think the, um, I think some of the, I, I, as much as I love Claude Rains, I, I think some of the supporting acting was a little kind of weak. I mean, I just hate Uno Connor, whether it's the Sobriety Franks, I just can't stand that woman, but other I than her, I mean, every time she screamed. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's really, lo- although I liked when the, uh, when her husband was just like, ah, shut up. Like <laughs> I liked their yeah. kind of relationship. Where A, she completely, you know, wore the pants in that she was the one who was like, hey, he owes us money. You need to go get it from him. And then I also (laughs) like that she very clearly annoyed the hell out of him. and He just didn't like her all that much. Like like when he had like a bruise on his head and she's like screaming as if he's dying. Like he's just sitting there drinking his gin and he's just like, oh, leave me alone, (laughs) lady. Like I do like that stuff. But I, I think the um, I think the big three of the Griffin personal life connections are kind of weak. Their yeah, Gloria Stewart is kind of she's just panicking, and and it's it, it's that type of, and this is just more that period of movies like the 30s, the maybe the early 40s, but that style of acting, like the constantly panicking and worrying, like I feel like that's how all women acted in those movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I can't say Gloria Stewart's any worse than others, but it's just like, it's old. I've seen that a bunch. It hasn't aged well. And then I, I think her father, the angel Clarence, just doesn't do much. And Kemp, his character is more interesting because he's got a lot more to do. But I don't think it's the best performance. Yeah, I guess he's okay. Yeah, I mean, again, the person who really steals the show is Claude Rains, you know? I, I Absolutely. Like- that's definitely it. I got a question for you. Don't you think it's kind of strange that James Whale directed a movie where the he directed a movie where the antagonist was not really a monster or where well, I should just say Frankenstein, where Frankenstein was kind of on the fence of being a monster and just um a yeah, he's misunderstood. trying to cope. Yeah. And he's it's one, the King Kong. It's it's that classic thing. Yes, exactly. But in this one, the invisible man is just such a fucking dick. <laughs> like oh yeah i mean he's like <laughs> genuinely evil i like that yeah i don't think it's strange i think it's just different and and it's i like that too because i was talking about like everything with griffin's personal life his fiance his mentor his co-worker like that stuff is all like straight out of frankenstein like those characters might as well be the same as dr waldman and I think Elizabeth was the fiance in that one. I don't remember the friend's yeah. name, but like those characters are are basically the same. So I like that the character, the villain here, is very, very different. I guess. Yeah, it was just neat to have somebody so I, I guess villainous and somebody who was very so unapologetic. Pronounced. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I I really liked that. Yeah, he's wonderful. He goes. I mean, he goes full super villain. I mean, he doesn't. I guess it's more just like his megalomaniacal rants about like how he could control the universe kind of thing. He doesn't like what's what's really the worst thing he does. Like yeah, he, he sends he, a guy he, he over derails a cliff a train in a and car. kills a hundred people. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we skipped a lot of this. <laughs> well, but even that though, that's that's yeah, that's right. He does he does derail a train. We we missed that in the but that whole that kind of montage sequence. He also pulls a Robin Hood. He steals money from a bank and just gives it to people. 
Yeah, yeah. Like so, there's this... <laughs> nobody right. He... I forgot about he derails a train. Okay, I'll take that back. Yeah, I mean, he he's killed an more Fra- more people than Frankenstein did for sure. Frankenstein's monster. Pardon me. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, but he drowned a little girl. There's no little girls on that train. It's just model people. <laughs> you don't understand. There's it's different. <laughs> it's just model people. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it was just great, and I loved the setting, uh, which was kind of split between Sleepy English Village and then, I guess, Kemp's house. Kemp's house is incredible, by the way. I don't know what the hell field of science he's in, but damn. Optics, <laughs> I guess? I think they would call that... That's. I think that's... It's called optics in the book, if I remember right. Hmm. But yeah, yeah I, <laughs> Just great, just great. All, like, all the, all the stuff with Claude Rains mixed with the effects, mixed with the pretty good script, I mean, all... Again, all geared towards uh, old Claude over there. For me, it just made it completely enjoyable. I loved it. 